So here we go, the game on the garbage pile. Now that is ass. When you start, you're given the option of a character class. The one thing I do like about the game is you can put up to eight letters for your name, so I can write pretty much any curse word I like in here, like a uh, fucker or dick face dildo. Nah, it doesn't fit. But anyway, I'm going to go with the classic standby. Ass! Then you see the cutscenes, which look atrocious, and this was the best they could do. It's a shame, because the artwork is actually kind of cool. Anyone else aside from Benny? <sighs> All right, Benny. What day Unbelievable. The lip sync is actually worse than Drake the 99 Dragons. Those characters are so annoying. I love Bones. I want to see the pigs and the chickens and the animals and the barns and the fish. But oh boy, let me tell you, I haven't even started playing yet. So let's pick up the Duke here, this big ass tank fucking controller, and let's get started. Cause it's gonna get fucked. Oh boy, I can't wait. Okay. Is it gonna start? It takes forever to start up. I thought it was broken because it stays on a black screen for almost two minutes. But that's just how the game is. It actually works now. And after all that, all the loading screens and everything... Dear Lord, look at this. Everything looks like pixelated ass splatter. I mean, for the love of sweet shit-take mushrooms, and yes, like the annals of history, I know what it is. It's shit-take, but it's spelled shit-take! This game looks like the glitch gremlin had a freaky fuck fest all over it. And this isn't even a glitch. It's just how the game looks. Apple. Don't you think it'd be a good idea to go fuck yourself? The main game is walking around a boring ass town talking to people and that's when it occurs to you, you're playing an educational game. The fuck was that? I think it's a glitch. Do you think it's a glitch? I think it's a glitch. I'm not trying to find glitches. It just so happens the whole game is a glitch. Look at this picture here. Holy shit! That is... But believe it or not, it actually works now. You can also play this shitty card game, but you can't get out of it until you play three whole games of it. And it goes on forever. And then... You... For Fred fuck's sake, what's with all the blood? Seriously, did they do that on purpose? Congratulations! What happened? How did I win? Apparently, you can't lose. What the fuck? How do you start? The fuck? from this pile of goat shit! I'm not seeing this, man. Oh my god. That is... Uh, I thought I've seen everything. There is nothing you could ever tell me, no proof you could present that could ever prove in my mind that the developers were not psychopaths huffing the gallon of paint sitting on my CD32 right now. This was given a retail release. People were able to buy this at a store. The fact that I bought it now is one thing, but what if you bought this when it was new? What if it was your only game? Did anyone actually grow up with this thing? Imagine the psychological effects. I went through all that torture just to be given the middle finger salute. I can't believe they sold this shit back for $199. That's about how much it costs for a new console. Pretty 
much. If you take a hundred and ninety nine dollars, stand on a bridge and just throw it all away. Right. We'd rather do anything than spend it on a broken down dysfunctional disaster. I should spend you either than the dumb slime shitload of stupid fuck for any price. I feel humiliated to live on the same planet as someone who designed an electronic abomination of this magnitude. <laughs>